Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jake is back again, back again with you, at you with another review, one more review for tonight, this uh, particular Saturday night, Sunday morning. It's now 3.20 a.m. in the morning. I've been partying and hanging out with some great people here and this live broadcast online. And I got one more review for you tonight. Again, brought to me, or provided to me, by the generosity of Mad Max Star Beer Reviews here on YouTube. And I uh, will post his link for you below if you want to check him out. Great fella, does a lot of great reviews. Once in a while he does a something funny, something hilarious. So really cool. This is the uh, Uni Brews Don D. D. U. D. Don D. D. U. 341 mils and it's 9% ABV. Ale. It's a strong ale, extra strong ale. So it should be very interesting. I think it's another kind of an Abbey style ale. But not sure what the what's into it, but uh, we'll uh, we'll crack her and give her a go and see how she's she how it fares. This one fares. Good beer, yeah. Hopefully this is a good beer. Let's get on underneath this sucker. Yeah, only reason I'm doing these three reviews tonight is that uh, you know I've got nothing else to drink tonight except for my home brew, and I don't uh, don't want to drink too much of the Star Sand beer because. It didn't turn out excellent. It didn't turn out very great. So give this a pour and let's see what we got here. Some smoke there. Oh, it's a light colored beer. Not bad. We'll give the bottom a little swirl because I think most of this almost all these unibrow beers have the uh have the um sediment. The sediment. <laughs> Pour this last of this bit up. But oh, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna give this sucker a little sniff and a taste, and come on, get that last drop out of there. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> there we go. So there you go. The Duty Cell Uni Brew by Uni Brew. Cheers. Let's give this a quick sniff and a and a and a little taste. Tell you what I think of it. <laughs> Well, it's just got that familiar same kind of scent that most of the Unibrews, Unibrews have. That sort of a sweet sort of coriander, fruity, floral kind of scent. Again, you know, not very strong. Very, very minor. Not overly strong scent. Just a, you know, kind of low to medium. It smells a lot like the, uh, the U. Bennett or the Blonde de Chamblay. You know, very similar. Can't really pick up much else than that. Quick taste. Here we go. The, the head dissipated quite fast, but let's go. Huh. You know, it's um, it's very similar to the uh, Very similar to the the U U Bennett, uh, actually, but um, some very slight subtle differences. Uh, this one might be a tiny bit sweeter than that. Um, this is pretty much kind of like a, a like a strong alcohol cross between the U Bennett. And sort of like the the modite, um, you know, it's got the sweetness, it's got the alcohol, the strong. It's nine percent ABV, so you can taste the alcohol. You can just taste taste a hint of the alcohol. You can tell it's strong, you know. But uh, not very heavy, relatively light, slight, you know, slightly malty. It's got that very slight kind of, I'm gonna say, burnt flavor to it. Like the, it's almost like a very slight burnt flavor. Uh, not really roasted, just to, to say. Kind of like the slight burnt flavor you'd also get from the Hoo Garden. I know, I know, I keep referring to the Hoo Garden, but I mean, it's it's just it's 
ballpark, you know, it's, it's a ballpark taste. It's uh, quite similar. So, I don't know, I mean, I, I'm not going to, certainly not going to say it's a bad taste. It's just so much similar to the U Bennett. I mean, Unibrod, and I don't know, I mean, I guess a lot of these beers, this, I really don't know what the, the big differences are between them, but. It's not bad. It's it's pretty good. Again, it's 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 quite a nice beer, without actually being brilliant. Um, uh, geez, I guess uh, I don't know. I guess I'd put this. I suppose I'd put this at about. I don't know. Let me, let me have one more quick sip, and I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say because it's got that sort of a slight little burnt flavor to it or in the after, in the, in the aftertaste, more, more so in the aftertaste, I'm, I'm, I'm not crazy about it, um, but it isn't bad. I, I wouldn't say it's quite as good as uh, the Modite or the Trois Pistoles. Probably those ones are slightly better than this. So I'm going to say about as generous three and a half out of five, uh, in my opinion, um, Still better than an average, you know, definitely an average ale, you know, Abbey style ale. A little better than an average one, but uh, definitely not bad. Um, so, I mean, three and a half, generous three and a half out of five for me, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Again, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this and enjoy the rest of my broadcast. The live on Justin.tv, hanging out with some great people. And uh, you guys keep your mugs full. And uh, that's another uni brew in the books for me. <laughs> Not too many left to go. Maybe one of these days I'll try the Unibrew 17. The 17. Cheers, guys. Keep your mugs full, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.